Happy 2024 guys. This is my first vlog of the year. I can't even remember the last time that I uploaded a vlog. <sighs> I did think about boycotting YouTube. I did think about it for a hot minute. I've just been feeling like so lost with life in general, which I feel like is fine, especially with moving out and just trying to find some balance. Like it feels really weird being away from my family. And I feel like my family and the dynamic that we had was like a huge part of my content. And so I was a bit like, oh, is this boring? Like, what do I film now? Like, what do I do? Just trying to re-figure out myself. I feel like I've been struggling with identity, all that really fun stuff. Like I'm 25, a bit of a quarter life crisis currently happening right now. Um, it's really fun. I'm really getting to a point in my life where I'm like, okay, I need to actually really start getting my shit together or this is the quality of life that I'm gonna just settle with because I don't have the balls to like actually put in what I need to do to be where I want to be. I have like very high desires, like I want a really cool life and I know exactly what I want but I just don't have what it takes to get myself there at the moment. And so I'm done using that for an excuse, I'm actually gonna do it. That's what 2024 is for, planting the seeds. Planting the seeds. So this is the first vlog of the year. It is February. February is my January. I did film like a few vlogs that I ended up deleting because I was like, this is just not the vibe. Um, but I really want to include like in a mini quick compilation, just like all some fun things that I did capture in the past couple months that didn't quite make it to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to the brown though. It might not look like it because I look really ugly today, but that's actually good because that's just gonna really <laughs> magnify the glow up so we're here checked into the room annie's here say hello annie hey um i'm still looking clapped but soon i won't hopefully looks all together guys sorry i didn't film us doing the makeup because it's too stressful but it's all come together this is the dress i've literally had to fabric tape it to my body it's really hard to walk in there just from Revolve. Let's see the man of the hour. Are you doing away? Uh, Stunning. Do you feel like a pretty princess? Not as pretty as you. Look at us go. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, darling. 32 disposal game and a I'm high pressure passage of play. Jack Sinclair was unflappable. Helping Jack. Jack, congratulations. <laughs> two time <laughs> Australian, two time Trevor Barker Award medal winner. How does that sound to you? Uh, yeah, pretty good. So, <laughs> take a sip of your cocky for the ambient. Take a sip of your perla. We're actually going to Sorrento today. Jack was bagging me for bringing a suitcase for a two night trip, but like, I don't have anything smaller. We're here. Matt just did this birthday surprise. Set up for Maddie, she's opening out presents now. Oh, I'm <laughs> and he's a cat. So, Charlotte. Oh. oh my god, you and Mabadev look so good. This is so iconic. Oh, MG. We're just upstairs doing makeup. The boys are playing a um, game called Birio. Apparently, you have to skull. Oh, yeah. oh, I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared of what's going on. Oh, wow. Even Matt's playing and it's iconic. Jack and Matt have to do a shot. <laughs> Bailey no, doing this is scary. That's so much Why did you bring this up if you weren't going to use it? Because they said not to use it. <laughs> Pour it back out. One mouthful each. Don't make them do it all. Emily, Why did you do the whole thing? I told you not to. so big as well. At least there's no mullet for me to hold back in the toilet. <laughs> We're gonna do a tester of the chicken. Come on. Come on. Done. That looks so good. I was a bit worried, but yeah, it looks, looks good. Do you reckon all of them will be done? Yeah. Oh my god, it's so juicy. How long Straight that off the bone. Look at this spread. So excited. Welcome back to Jess's vlog. She doesn't vlog ever. <laughs> Super. 
That's really tricky. Got... So these are her pretty wine glasses. Do you remember Pretty Patty's episode of um, Spongebob? No. <laughs> Anyways. I'm throwing my right arm. So I just went to the dentist and I'm so feeling so accomplished about myself. But I went to Dimix and Seclunas on the way home because they had one in the center that the dentist was at. Got some tulip. Tulips are my favorite flower. If you didn't know that, now you do. I had like a little Dimix voucher. I got this. I've been wanting it for ages, but they just released like a hardcover illustrated version. So I got the second one of this because I just finished that one yesterday. I'm going to read the Hunger Games one first, but this will be my March book maybe. And then I also I got some cherry juice because I've been seeing all those sleepy girl mocktail things on TikTok. I really want to try it. I got some croquettes with jamon in it. Some rock melon and some pickled cabbage because I'm thinking maybe for dinner tonight Jack and I can have like homemade shawamas or something. We're going to Bunnings. We're going to get some black paint to paint this little feet on the tables. This is my outfit. So this is my outfit. Singlets from Pukai, skirts from Supre, shoes from Princess Polly. I'm really just a fast fashion girly today. Oh, so I fucking love this skirt. I love it. It's so fun. Someone did a pop up. It smells like diarrhea. Trying to find the chilies. We're gonna do chilies 2.0 because the other one's side. I kind of want cucumbers as well. My friend Lana just grew cucumbers and they look really cool. We've got our little things. Oh my plan. Now you're up to date. This is our new couch. Ooh. Um, I swear I'm almost done talking. Okay, I just changed the angle so it feels like something fresh is happening. So in this weekly vlog, we're gonna go through my wardrobe. I feel like I need one of those apps where you take the photo of every single piece of clothing you have and just like upload it so that you can scroll through and pick an outfit because I have that many clothes just sitting in my wardrobe and I'm so out of sight, out of mind that I just like forget what I have and I end up wearing the same thing every day. Um, So I've been trying to create like a little Pinterest board vibe. Ugh. Got a little bit of a vision board going on here. My little 2024 vision board that has like six photos in it. I'm also planning on cutting my hair this short in a couple weeks. Oh my God, also, sorry, 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 so many updates, but I did just quit my job. And I don't, it, it's so unlike me, like so unhinged and just random because I don't have another job yet. And I fully just put in my four weeks notice just under a week ago. I'm just like, having such a quarter life crisis guys like what am i doing with my life i'm just like not enjoying what's going on right now <laughs> like i need to get my shit together i need to find a job that i like but i'm also like i don't think i'm gonna like anything like i just need to put my energy into everything i do and hope that something good comes out of it and i have some sort of epiphany where i'm like cool this is what i want to do this brings me joy and fulfillment ew pray for me seriously <laughs> ah! time for a grocery haul i just been watching Sex and the City and doing my life. Getting together all day, guys. It's been a really big day for me. Jack and I get these every single time we go to Coles. If you haven't tried them before. What are you doing? $2.50. Better than the Baker's Delight one. So tonight we're going to have fish tacos. So yummy. We literally get tomatoes. Jack makes like a pico de gallo and it's a really freaking good. So we got some tomatoes. White onion, lime, we got some coleslaw for the tacos, avocado for the tacos. The avocados were shit, but you gotta go with what you've got. Got some cotton candy grapes, these are my freaking favorite. Peckish thins, English muffins for breakfast. Breakfast. This because you can't fight it. You simply can't fight the addiction. Cheese. I need to like, for work, I just get so hungry. I don't know why, I just feel like I'm hungry all the time and working like long hours at work i just feel like i need to be constantly eating and i've been bringing lunch to work and like a little snack but it just doesn't do me for the whole day so i'm trying to stop spending money at work because i bring lunch and then i end up buying it a second lunch as well so we're bringing snacks cheese and crackers i got these little bars they're so freaking good they were half price i got some spicy kimchi so i went i've never even had kimchi but whatever because i'm going to be making rice paper rolls for my lunch. Sweet. 
pick up some tuna for that as well. Kind of excited. I've never really been a rice paper roll girl, but we'll see. Puppy. And last but certainly not least, a cantaloupe. I had cantaloupe at work last week and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Look at my new chopping board. Jack bought me these two chopping boards for Christmas, that blue one back there. And it's made out of recycled plastic and I'm literally obsessed with it. Did you like listening to that? Oh, that's your tripod. <laughs> yeah, look at my tripod. Honestly, a real balancing act. I can't believe it didn't fall. Forgot to show you these are the tortillas that we use. We just always have these in the house. And this is the fish that we use. Honestly, really good. Got some coleslaw, some avocado, lime. Jack made this. I'm literally obsessed with this. This is our nightly routine. It's time to make a Sleepy John mocktail. We're watching Marry at First Sight. We've become into it. We have to. We've been watching every night, guys. It's bad. I've got a disgruntled ex. Like had It was a very like That was a lot. Oh shut up! Oh my god, what is that? Don't know Jack well enough to uncertain things about that. Shut the door. Delicious! I love the color of this. It looks like some sort of crazy cocktail, doesn't it? Hey! Ow! The start to that vlog on Monday was a big fail, which is really ironic considering the context of it. Ah! But I was having a really chill, relaxing night that night with Jack and watching Mary at first sight. And then I was like, I don't have time to go through my wardrobe. And then I was like, I can't continue this vlog until I finish until I can go through my wardrobe. And then I had a really busy week. I've had my period for 15 days also, which is really bizarre. I look pretty ferocious right now, but it's Jack's birthday tomorrow. It's now my weekend, so we have time to go through the wardrobe, which I'm honestly really excited about. But tonight we're going to dinner. Hey buddy, did you go and find those just because you heard me vlogging and mine to look really cool? <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought we'd make a series out of it. Me bring you cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, quickly, Cheers. Wow, this is really actually quite beautiful. Look at how gorgeous this Negroni is. Let's take a sip. Cheers. Mm. We're going through a phase right now. Everyone goes through it when you live together. I just seem to always break things and get stains on things. And Jack's like such a freak. A clean freak. I look scary. Do I look scary or like, why is this foundation not the same color as my skin? Last week I spilled coffee all over the carpet and it wasn't good. <laughs> it's still there. It's just like I tried to get it out. Mum told me to use baking soda and then vacuum it up. Did not effing work. Don't do that because it got stuck in the crevices. It was a bad time for me. My ejaculation really took a hit there. Well, this pimple is like revolting. We're up to our eyeshadow now. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna wear yet. I also just clipped my toenails. Ugh, you can't see. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm gonna wear yet, so I don't really know what makeup to do. I'm thinking I've got this black outfit in mind. If I do wear that, I want to do like a darker, not necessarily like a red burgundy lip, but I want to do like something a little bit darker. So you want to keep the eyes a little bit basic. Probably Oh, I'm probably just gonna use my bronzer. I really need to update my makeup because I just wear like silly shit. I just feel like I've been doing the same makeup always. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> but it was one of my New Year's resolutions to do makeup, fashion, hair, just my style and everything I do more intentionally. So that's a goal for you, just declutter things really hone in on what I am doing and who I am as a person. I think I'm just going to do the tiniest bit of brown eyeliner in the corner. Oh my god, it's laid. Oh, I'm meant to be leaving in like 25 minutes and I just feel like I'm not up to that point where I feel confident. It's not going to be my friend. Oh, 
pink eyeliner. Anyway. Hey, this is my outfit. I don't really like it. I don't know why. I feel a bit like, I don't know, something's not really working. I think it's the top, but I don't have time to find something else because this top's okay, ugly, but whatever. You look cute, doll. Swing the lazy Susan over. You want some of this? Hello, it's the next day. Um, that dinner was so good. But right now I'm just eating nachos. I'm eating some nachos. I just walked to Woolies to get nacho stuff and dinner stuff. And I'm watching the Super Bowl <laughs> just by myself. I don't think I've ever watched the Super Bowl before. It's actually kind of boring. I don't know if this is just like a boring match, but like, it's not a lot going on. I'll be honest with you. It's been like almost five hours. And the score's 19. Oh, like boring. So I'm gonna eat this finish watching this and then i'm gonna go through my wardrobe let's go through my wardrobe i just picked my pimple and it's every time it scabs over i just have to pick it even though i know it's gonna sting and it's gonna bleed and it's gonna prolong the whole process but i just must pick it kind of got a little vibe going on in my fashion board at the moment we've got fun lacy skirts glasses funky heels like basics but with pops of color and elevated classy we're getting a dress like this at work next week you can't even freaking see can ya because i could hold that a little bit closer we're getting a dress very similar to this this week but now that i've like resigned i'm kind of like i don't want to spend my money here you dogs but i will still i simply just will i have to like pick this up and take it over here because this is like the stupidest thing ever. I was saying to Jack, like, I don't understand how flawed this design is. Because you come in, the lights come on. But it's like timer, so it'll turn off. But there's no switch to, like, keep it on. What if I spend prolonged periods of time in here and I need the light on, but I don't want to go like this every time it turns off? I honestly have that many clothes. And I feel really sad because my goal is to have a job one day. Where I can just wear whatever I want every day. Because this is such a waste having all these fun clothes when I just have to wear the same outfit every day at work. This is the top that I wore last night. I honestly think it's time for her to go. I've given her two opportunities. And both times I've just felt not great about how I look when I'm wearing this. So I think it's time. Should I get a Depop account? <sighs> I'm just scared that like if I get a Depop I'm going to sell it. And then I'm going to keep forgetting to like send it out. And then it's going to become this like really big task. And I'm just never going to do it. And then I'm a criminal. I'm stealing people's money. Okay, I've literally like not touched it. But Jack's home now. And it's like quarter past five. And he start making lasagna. And cook ah! I'm cooking lasagna. I don't know why, but it just like looks kind of disgusting right now. Everything looks good on this camera. The quality is... Oh. I've made the lasagna. It was a really stressful experience. And I feel like I burnt it. But I don't know if the pasta's cooked. Because I had to cook it at the right temperature for the garlic bread. So I had to sacrifice one. I'm hoping if I let it sit here, the pasta will continue to soften. Um, but shit looks pretty good. It was really stressful. Like the most stressful lasagna experience I've had. Oh. Hey Jack, do you want to say any birthday message? Um, thanks for making dinner. Not to me, I'm just like in general. Do you have any like thing you'd like to say to future 30 year old Jack? Enjoy your 20s while they last. That's really nice! Got Jack's beautiful birthday cake. Right here, best birthday cake ever. Hey, if you think it looks like the next day. What? Why would you think that? So, we're finally going through my wardrobe. Oh. I don't know why I'm finding this just like, I don't want to do it. I don't know why, but I don't want to. I had to chuck all this shit on the floor last night so we could sleep in our bed. I also have my coffee sitting there and I'm really scared about it. What? Right, let's get the tunes pumping. I actually just got my tripod out. This is the first time I've used my tripod since I moved in here. And I had no idea where I put it. And then I just reached my hand into the wardrobe in the darkness and the first thing I touched was my tripod. Anyways, okay. Uh, let's just grab something at random. I feel like I have to keep this. This is just like a basic 
backless like long sleeve bodysuit why do i hate it though like i hate it every time i wear it i'm like i hate this but i need more basic long sleeves so i feel like i should keep it it does like feel like sandpaper sandpaper <laughs> okay recently i saw this tiktok and the guy stitched this other girl's video and she was like oh I just feel like I want to rot away in bed all day. And this guy stitched her video and was like, what you're feeling is languish. Languishing, languished. And then he goes on to explain what being languished feels like. And I was like, oh my God, that's literally me right now. Okay, this I also have to keep. I feel like every time I wear this, I also feel really disgusting. Maybe I just like have a weird thing about long sleeves. They make me feel really ugly. I don't know. We'll keep her for another season or so. But anyway, I watched that video and I was like, oh my God, this is me. Cause like I've been depressed before. Like I feel like I'm a veteran with depression. Um, and I was like, this isn't really that. Like it's, it feels different. It feels like a midlife crisis, but also like I have no energy. I'm just like, what the fuck am I doing? Like everything feels stupid. I find it very difficult to do basic tasks, but not in a depression way, more of like a, oh, oh. And I feel really like I want to do so many things. I'm like, oh, I really want to change my life. Like, let's get our shit together. And I'm really excited about that. But I'm also like, I just can't. Like, I feel like I have no energy and I'm just like, I don't know where to start. Or I do know where to start, but it's like, everything's so difficult. Like, I really want to go through my wardrobe. Tell me why I just can't be bothered. Like, I don't want to do it. Okay, this I'm keeping. Again, it's a long sleeve. I never really reach for it, but I need long sleeves. And this color actually is really cute. Um, So that's what I'm trying to do. I feel like I'm just going to hate my life for a little bit, like while I'm trying to get my self-discipline. I forgot this was there. Get my self-discipline in the works. To be frank, <laughs> I'm one of those people, I don't, I can't really remember a time where I had any self-discipline, like in my whole life. I just feel like I've always just done whatever I want all the time. And I've never really had my shit together once. Like I don't really ever remember a time where I'm like, wow, I really had my shit together back then. I also hate my job, which I feel like is really contributing to this languish that I'm feeling. Like, I put so much effort in at work and it just like, this is why I quit, was because I basically was like, hey, I've been doing way more work than I get paid for for the past nine months when we haven't had a manager or two I see this whole time. Like, I've been pretty much doing, like, way more than I get paid for. And all you seem to do is criticise me rather than, like, not that I do it for recognition, but, like, choices. Like, I'm not even asking for a raise, but can you please just, like, can I go down to part-time? So that I can kind of take a breather and, you know, step down with my responsibilities, etc. Because I'm just like doing too much at the moment. Never seems to be enough. How f off cute is this? Um, and they basically said no. And I said, well, if you don't let me, then I'm quitting. And they just said no. <laughs> so I'm clearly very valued in the workplace, which is great because I put a lot of effort in. And just to know that that's like they don't give a shit. That's retail for you. So I'm just kind of at a point where I'm like, okay, cool. I've been working really, really hard. I have no energy to do anything in my free time. I'm also having nightmares about work. Like I don't even want to do it as a career. So I'm like, why is my whole life revolving around my job? And they don't even value me or like respect the work that I do. It's like, oh, I don't know. It's really caused me to like take a look at what the F I'm spending my time doing. And if it's like substantial, if it's fulfilling for me, if it's empowering, like if I feel really passionate every day going to work because that's just the kind of person I am. I need to feel fulfilled. I need to feel empowered and like creative, excited about the work that I'm doing and like it's going towards things. I'm such like a, I need to tick things off and I need to know that they're going towards something bigger at the end of the day. This, I don't know why, it just like doesn't look that good on me. I think I might try it on with some pants once I'm done talking. But yeah, anyway, I kind of had to like quit, take a step into the dark for a little bit. Just one, because I feel like that would be embarrassing if I was like bluffing and just like demanding respect that I didn't give it to me and I was like oh, okay then don't worry about what I said about quitting um but yeah I just I don't want to be the person that like continues to complain about the same thing expecting the outcome to be different when I'm not taking any steps to like change the outcome and hopefully in six months time we will see that I it was the right thing to do anyway really long tangent that felt really good though. I felt like that was a bit of therapy for me. Let's go through my clothes. Okay, this is the skirt that's meant to go with this top. And why is it just like, I feel like it's really unflattering. 
I don't know why, but it's like giving pregnancy announcement vibes. Like I might wear this when I announce my pregnancy, who knows? Like, ew, why does it look like this? This is with another pair of pants, but I just feel like this is not, like this just doesn't look good. It should, but I don't know why it doesn't. This top's gotta go. These pants, low key, I'm looking at them, I'm thinking, why are they kind of ugly? Oh, this top, I'm obsessed with. I think I've only worn it once, like during COVID. I wore it on grand final day because I feel like, I don't know if it suits me that much, but I just can't part with it because I'm obsessed with it. I am getting my hair cut into like a full on bob. In the next couple of weeks, I'm not sure when, I think I might have to just bite the bullet and do it next Monday. But I feel like that would look really good with this top and obviously not Calvin Klein boxes, but one drawer done. I color coordinated it which I feel like maybe is the best way to go. I feel like, oh my God, I just like have so much. I have so much, guys. This is all I'm willing to part with. And some of it was a hard giveaway. This I was sad to give away. It's from this like random UK small brand that I bought during COVID. And I feel like it used to heavily be my vibe, but now it's a, like, it's a little bit too grungy for me now. And it is cropped. If it wasn't cropped, I feel like I would keep it. But I just hate cropped things. Isn't it just so cool? I'm watching Avatar right now because they just put it back on Netflix and I'm really, really happy about it. I think that'll be it from me for this vlog though. I feel like this vlog was a bit shit, but uh, oh well, what are you gonna do? It was my first vlog back in a while and I'm trying to rebrand. So I feel like I needed to catch up with you guys and just debrief. Hopefully, some of you enjoyed it regardless have a good rest of the day peace